Hey beauties, it's Riri. If you're new here, I'm an over 40 lover of all things beauty and I'm pretty obsessed with indie brand makeup. If that sounds like your cup of tea, please consider subscribing and giving the video a thumbs up. There's also a join button right down there that you can click to become a channel member. Thank you to my channel members. We are going to dive right in. I'm going to open this box really quick. We're going to start with my boxy mega drop shop haul and then we'll go into my little Ulta beauty haul. Um, hopefully everything's all right. My boxes always seem to come to me a little bit damaged. Um, BRB. All right, beauties, if you are unfamiliar with the Boxy Drop Shop, Mega Drop Shops, if you receive any of the Boxy Charm subscriptions per month, you can go in when the Mega Drop Shop opens and you can shop all of your favorite makeup, beauty, hair, skin items for up to 70% off. I think it's a phenomenal way to kind of discover new product or stock up on your favorite products. First up, I have the Bodyography Pro Makeup Brush Cleaner. I've already gone through an entire one and I'm halfway through my other one. It works really well. It doesn't have a harsh scent or anything like that. So I really, really like this. And if I can get it for four or five bucks, I'm going to get it. Next up, I got these refreshments, which is Ipsy's kind of skincare brand. This is the Refreshments Cleansing Face Wipes 30 Count. Then I got two of these, the Argon Oil Makeup Removing Wipes with Vitamin C, two little mini packs. Just wanted to make sure I was stocked up on makeup wipes. I don't use them all the time, um, but I do use them if I'm kind of switching out makeup looks, doing more than one makeup look in a day, or I'm doing swatches on my arm. Next up is a repurchase that I've repurchased over and over again. It's the Real Her I Am Inspiring Brow Definer Pencil. This is one of my all-time favorite products. It is a holy grail, so every time I see it, even though I already have three or four backups, I get another one. I have problems. <laughs> Next up, I did get this little two pack of these SL Miss Glam brushes, also for very affordable. I really like her brushes a whole lot, and I love getting br and I love getting brushes in subscription boxes. Probably, I'm gonna say 80 percent, maybe more than that, of my brushes that I have are from subscription boxes. So. Next up is my Kush Fiber Brow Gel. This is the shade Diesel. This may be a little dark for me if I feel like it's going to be. Um, obviously, I won't use it and I'll pay it forward. I usually use Dutch or I can't remember the other one, but it's one of my all-time favorites. I really love it. I love that it has a teeny, teeny, tiny little wand. Um, I repurchased this. I've gone through multiple. I love it. <laughs> Next up is a product that we got in an Ipsy Glam bag before. But is the Cab Cosmetics Lemon and Lime Lip Oil Duo. I did get this in my subscription box and I gifted the lime one, kept the lemon one, love it, use it every single night before bed. So I was like, let me get another one and then I can gift the lime one, of course, to somebody else. But it is, but it's amazing. It has some grip to it, but it's not sticky or tacky. I do feel like when I wake up in the morning, of course, you can use this anytime, but when I wake up in the morning, my lips are nice and moisturized and hydrated. Maybe not right now because you know, mama had COVID. I'm still getting over that, so <laughs> maybe uh, my lips are not in the best of shape right now, nor is my skin. Just just ignore that part. Um, but it's fantastic. The smell of it, I mean, I, I love it. It's a big size, so I really, really love this. If you do see this and you really like lip oils that have some grip and actually moisturize your lips, this is a really good one. Next up, I got two more sponge gels. Um, and actually, I also, with this order, purchased nine of the men's buffer sponge gels, um, but I already gave those to Caleb when he came into town, so I did get those. Anytime I see the sponge gels in the pop-up, I grab them because they're $16 to $20 a piece, typically, at retail and through the pop-up they're like four bucks um, and Caleb and I both really really love this I will note I note this every time I speak about these because they're one of my holy grail products um, the first one or two times that you use it it can be a little bit abrasive and a little bit aggressive so if you have very reactive skin and very sensitive skin just a word of caution on that um, but after you kind of lather it up really well you get it wet and you've used it a couple times it just feels fabulous. They smell great. They don't dry the skin or anything like that. I I love them. I swear by them. And then I got this as a gift for someone. This is the Persona Identity 2 eyeshadow palette. So obviously I'm not going to open it up for y'all. So that is my little boxy pop-up haul or boxy mega drop shop haul. Um, and this has been sitting here for a month as has my Ulta order. Like I said, I had COVID and it was not a great experience. <laughs> Um, and then I'm going to go into my Ulta order. Um, I did already open up the box and set everything out when I was getting this one ready. So we're going to dive into the Ulta order next. First up, I get this each and every single year. Um, it is the It Brushes for Ulta Limited Edition. Love is the foundation brush. And considering I've had this for a month now, um, I think they released it really early this time around this year. They normally release it closer to October and it is a breast cancer limited edition brush. Um... And I might be slightly obsessed with these. Here we 
Here's this one. Here's this one. This was a limited edition star brush. This is also Nick Cosmetics foundation brush. This is literally my favorite foundation brush of all time. The LYS Beauty one is right there with it. And then I loved this one so much when I got it that I also got a backup of it. Um, they're very high quality. They're very well made. I have been buying It Cosmetics brushes for many, many years through QVC. Um, so I know them well. I love them. They are phenomenal quality. I have some brushes from them that I've probably had eight plus years. Um, and they're perfection. So I do want to open this really quickly. And did I need it? No. But I'm telling myself it was for a good cause. This is my favorite one so far. Oh, I love it. I do like that it is rounded. And of course, the love is a foundation. It is heart shaped. It has like this really beautiful kind of opalescence to it. And then it does have the liquid inside. And then even like the little flakes that are in here are also opalescent. Oh, I love that. Okay, I'm going to put it back in the box just because we're going to be moving soon and I'm trying to go ahead and start packing up pretty soon. So, yeah, but um, phenomenal brush. If it's still available, I will link it. Next up, I got this Essence the Highlighter. This is in Staggering. I got this really cute Ulta Beauty brush set. It is purple and black. And it's a friend of mine's favorite color is purple, so that's going to be going to her. I also got this little mini MAC, the Magic Extension Fiber Mascara. I got this Cheektopia um, Benefit Cosmetics little thing that has like their different blushes and stuff. I thought that would be really cool to either do for like a swap sister or I can add it to like giveaways and things like that. Um, I have the actual full size like Cheek Leaders palette from Benefit. Phenomenal. I love it. This right here I'm really excited to try. It is the new NYX, Cos NYX Cosmetics Smooth Whip Matte Lip Cream. Um, and I loved this nudie shade. I think it's stunning. I also picked up some little hair ties. Um, I really like when I'm growing my hair out to either do like two little pigtails or like little space buns or like a little pigtail here. Um, it's basically the only thing I can do when my hair is this length. So I got these cool like Halloween themed ones that, that I thought were really neat and they were super affordable. And then I have always wanted to try this. This is the Thera Breath Dentist Formulated Fresh Breath Oral Rinse. Um, it was kind of pricey, not gonna lie, but I'm excited to test this out. If you've tried this, please let me know, but I've heard rave reviews. If you know, you know, your girl's obsessed with earrings and headbands. <laughs> And this headband was on sale and I thought it was just so pretty and I love kind of like the soft taupey color for fall time so I think it's gonna be amazing and then with that little bit of a purchase that I made y'all this was an Ulta Beauty gift with purchase and it is purple so it'll be going to my friend and then the entire thing is wrapped all as one and it is a ton of Ulta Beauty makeup that is when I like to personally shop on Ulta Beauty. Um, I have not looked at anything from the 21 Days of Ulta because I'm on a no-buy. We're getting ready to move, like I said. So, yeah, my my method with purchasing, especially with, like, Ulta and stuff, is do I have points saved up? Um, is there a really nice gift with purchase going on? Do they have, like, the 350 coupon? Do they have five times the points? Things like that. That's when I tend to shop. And then if I already need things, like, I saw that the... Like I saw that the It Cosmetics brush popped up and I actually went online for that and for this. So, yeah. And then with the total purchase, I got this whole big gift with purchase bag. So I will show you just a few things that are in here. And of course, whatever I don't use in, in you know, in like the gift with purchases and stuff like that, I just put it in giveaways. I put it in packages, give it to friends, whatever. This is the Dionis. I hope that's how you say it, Dionis. Goat Milk Hand Cream Set. It says Goat Milk Body Lotion and Goat Milk Hand Cream. I do use a goat milk cleanser right now, and I also use a goat milk soap, which I really, really love, especially for myself having really dry skin. I feel like it really does help me. Maybe it's just in my head, but I feel like it does. Next up is Sweet Spot Labs Moisture Restoring Full Body Cleanser Fragrance Free. There is a full-size Pacifica Flower Moon Jasmine Peach and Vanilla Hair and Body Mist. Ooh, nice. I had the Grown Alchemist Gentle Gel Facial Cleanser. I'm also going to put this in my Swap Sisters box. I do not like gel cleansers for my skin personally. 
We have the Mario Badescu Skincare Facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs, and Rose Water. As much as I love Rose, um, I've tried two of their scents or their whatever of their sprays, and I did not like them. So I'm going to pass that along as well. And then we have the Ahava Dead Sea Water Mineral Shower Gel. And then an Ulta Beauty Juicy Berry Scented Body Scrub, also a full size. So that is my mini haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what types of videos you guys want to see moving forward. Um, obviously, with the move, and I'm still not 100% from being sick and stuff like that, I just I have a lot going on. So thank y'all for being patient and bearing with me. But the next kind of round of videos is going to be my collection videos and my declutter videos. Because obviously I'd like to declutter and kind of downsize and stuff prior to the move. Um, but that is it. Let me know what you want to see kind of after that. Going into December, y'all know that if I don't do it in October, I do 31 days, 31 videos in December. Please let me know what you guys want to see moving forward. Um, all the collection videos and declutter videos are coming very, very soon. I love you beauties. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. And be your own best beautiful. Bye beauties. Popping back in very very quickly. Um, I really like my look even though it took like less than 10 minutes so I did want to tell you what is on my face and of course everything I mentioned and everything that is on my face is linked down below. I went in first with my Yensa Super Serum Silk Foundation. My holy grail. This is the shade Medium Warm. I went on with my Blurch from Made by Mitchell in Peach Sugar um, and just kind of heavily loaded that up. I, I love this product. It looks very beautiful on the skin. I feel like it does offer a little bit of blurring. It is very long lasting and I mean, it's beautiful. I went in with my Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump. I probably have one or two more uses and this one's done, but I already have backups. Y'all know I love that product. The mascara is my BFC mascara. My brows are my Lottie London um, Arch Rival Pencil pencil in dark brown and then my eyes are my skin palette by Empress Me and I went in with caramel tint which you can tell is my favorite color and then copper and then copper blush which is also a favorite color and then I went with chestnut just right here on the very very outer corner I went in with Imperial Gold all over the lid. That is the really beautiful orange. And then my inner corner and brow bone is Ultra Fair, which is also getting a dent in it. Um, my all-time favorite palette, period. I don't know that it's ever going to be replaced. And that is for the simple fact that it's just stunning. I freaking love warm tones, as y'all know. And it has shades in here that I can use if I needed to do something for my brows, for a bronzer, for a contour, blush, highlight. It's just, it's amazing. It's amazing. You can also use code RERE20 for 20% off. And that is it. That is the look. I hope you like it. All right.